on just YouTube, of course the dogs have started barking, just to see if this is better than using Restream because uh, the thing with Restream, it looked fine here, but then when I've looked back at it, it's dreadful and it's very annoying for me because I love doing my live streams, but I'm just really trying to work out what's the best way of being able to do this. Oh, would help if I had the microphone on. Um, yeah, I'm just really trying to work all this out. So what we just had fun with now was playing with the pigment pebbles and the pigment pebbles are these crazy things and uh, these they can't they are a 3d pigment like this and uh hey excuse me for a second Zozzy Zoz just call, I'm just calling my dog Zozzy there'll be a wind there'll be some leaves rustling you know de demanding Pomeranian attention uh, and you can melt these into a little watercolour. So we did this in the live stream that I just had. So you just add a little bit of gum arabic and they're a step in between the full-blown magical world of pigments and watercolours. So it's just it's that little step in between but they're wonderful fun because you can add them into inks so I've added some pink and the uh, rose crown, this one. And I think I added this one into this blue coloured ink, which is one of my special inks called Moby Dick. And look at that. I'll just pop that on there. So I'm going to wiggle this around and see how what the camera does, if it uh, freaks out or if it's going to be uh, okay. Now, if you wouldn't mind, say hello in the chat so I can see just let me know what it's looking like and if this is better other and I can hopefully it is I can find something that uh, stands up to the, the standard that I'm expecting of my live streaming because of all the equipment's great I just have to and the the speed that I'm down like my internet speed and everything's you know wackadoodle Wackadoodle, that's the technical term. And, uh, oh, this, I'm just totally back in love with Mars Pan. Not that I was ever out of love with them. They're so smudgy, look at that. I can get a smoky eye. But um, without having to do it on my own face. But, uh, yes, it's just, there's a lot of competition for art supplies uh, around these parts, as you can imagine with my voracious art supply <laughs> designing. So this, um, I've got pigment pebble in Moby Dick ink so that in this blue is the pink sparkle. And then here I've got a different, I've got watercolor that's got the pigment pebble mixed in with it. So it's the pink rose opera pink with sparkle in the background there. Then I've added extra pigment purple, sparkle darkle, and just unceasing fun really. Just re need to let that dry. Okay, so that was some of what we were playing around with. Mm, lots of lovely things, okay. And then we were also playing around with this now. Oh, this is watercolor that I've got on this page. And this is pigment pebble, layer cake. I've got, I've got a little bit of all sorts of different things in here. But as I twist and turn the paper, you'll be able to see the pigment pebble turning up. Oh, great. I, Irene says, sound great an image too. This is loud and clear now. Okay. Hello, hello. Oh, thank you for that. I, well, that's, I'm just going to do a little bit more and let's just see if this hangs in there and I'll just have to forget about that multi-platform streaming. streaming. I, the reason I started that was I wasn't really happy with the way the Facebook um, quality was either. 
So I thought, well, I'll start this other thing and, well, look, it's a journey and I'm just very glad or very grateful for those of you that have stuck with me <laughs> as, we've, as we've gone. So maybe we'll just do YouTube. Okay, well, we'll just, we'll see. Okay, so... And I did just actually, I've, I've been uploading a few more of my normal videos to YouTube as well. So, um, so because I've got this happening here and I did not like her when we started playing around, but I really do like her now. That is so often the way with things, it's the way of things. <laughs> Love her. I've got a little bit of gold happening here and there. This giant journal is 100 and it's a 150 years old, nearly, like within three years. So we'll just say 150 or round up a little, just it's a bit of a milestone. The actual cover is, and then I've added paper into it. It didn't have anything inside. It had a couple of uh, end papers which I've pulled out and put back in and then I filled this out I got this when I was in Paris at an ancient paper show and the man was throwing this away uh, because it's very damaged um, even before I got it but you know like all of it's chipped and damaged and the, it's the postcards inside that were valuable at the time and so I said, oh, well, how much is this one? And I would have told you this already. And he said, well, if you're going to buy something else, you can have it. And I said, buying something else is not a problem because he had very many nice old papers. <laughs> and I just have a thing about old paper. I know it probably makes some people feel sick, the smell of old paper, but if I walk past an antique store or a bric-a-brac store, <laughs> I give the, and I can tell. I'm like, oh, children's books, 1930s. <laughs> Victorian era scrapbook, dilapidated, even better. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Anyway. The mustier and crustier, the better. So this here is a uh, layer cake. I'm just gonna pretend we've never met before. And the, I'm just, so when I show you something, I can just say, this is what it is and just assume you don't know. So layer cake is this, uh, it's a water media. So it's in the realm of gouache, uh, watercolor, but it's its own sort of thing. And, oh, here we go. So here's watercolor. So I love watercolor in the pan. It's just so convenient. You just touch with your brush and off you go. But I also love gouache, and gouache usually comes in a tube. And because I love the opacity. So I wanted to create something that's of both worlds, and that's what layer cake is. So these are individual pans. Um, the key ingredient still is the gum arabic, which is what makes watercolour watercolour. That's what's in this, that's what's in this. So it's, uh, that makes it a water-soluble media because the gum arabic is water-soluble and just pretending we've never met before and you don't know anything, this is th what gum arabic is. Oh, except you can't see it. It's this, it's a, a natural uh, gum from trees from Africa. Well, it's the, um, not sub-Saharan, Saharan, <laughs> Africa the dry parts of Africa and it um, is a, a acacia tree and it's the gum from that and that is it's been used for hundreds of years it's non-toxic it's used in food uh, and for different medicinal purposes as well it's also planting these these trees help with desertification or stopping or controlling desertification uh, and local people can grow this and it's so there's this is why we call this one a kind of binder and that is what binds the pigment together and attaches it to the paper so layer cake is of that family but it does other special things as well and 
This is one of its forms in these palettes. So there's seven different palettes like this. All different colours. So this is rainbow cake. This one is called sushi roll. There's food truck. The names of my things are so weird. <laughs> but it, they, it's because I name from my heart. So they're named for things that I like and obviously like food truck. So anyway, this is like slush puppy, fried pickles, popcorn. My dog just thought I called him. Waffle pop, ice donuts, etc. Gorgeous colours. And these are some of the new colour wheels. So this is the same formula, just it's like a little mood of colour. And I can um, add more and more colours, you see. So some of the new palettes, this is the Pinkiosity palette. It's just all pinks. You know, I feel like using this. I'm going to leave that out. And one of the new ones, this is what I'm getting to. How gorgeous are all the watercolours? They're all my watercolours. Okay. Um, well, not all of them. This is the new icing on the cake, uh, layer cake. And um, these first five are colour shifters. So it might be a bit hard for me to show you with these lights, but I, you can see it here. Look how it goes from almost a purple plum to a green a gra and a, like a petrol green. And then there's also the bright green in there. Can you see this one here changing colour depending on where you're looking at it? And that's what's here on this page. So I've got matte watercolour underneath. Uh, this is from an online workshop called Layer Cake where I show all of these background techniques and this whole journal was made in that workshop. And then I've added on top of it some of the just the normal layer cake. It's got a very matte finish. And then these are some of the new ones. So these are five metallics. Oh, I've got paint everywhere. Um, these are five metallics, five new metallics. This gold is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm just going to grab my, I can't stop using the new brushes. I'm um, poor old, the rest of the poor old brush ballet is looking forlornly at me, but it's just, they're new, okay? I'm just apologising to the rest of my art supplies. So this, um, this is Chantilly. So this is a colour changing, colour shifting gold. This is a very, very full on metallic. I'll just pop a little bit on here. Uh, and then we've also got a metallic black, a metallic white. I've had other metallics before, and or pearlescence. And then I've got two new pinks as well. Why have one pink when you can have two? Oh, I'll show you that colour swatched out here, actually. And with layer cake, if you act, if you just go boop, boop with a nice watery brush, you're going to get a watercolour appearance. But if you activate and just mix that layer cake up a little bit more, it's going to be much creamier and like a um, gouache. So I'm just putting this down. Oh, let's create something, shall we? So this has got a silver uh, metallic base in it. And this one is frosting. So that was glacé. This is frosting. So this is all from the frosting on the layer cake palette. And this is a different pink. Just It's beautiful when it's uh, swatched out. So I'm just going to pop it down like this. So they're very similar. But this one has a gold um, the colour is different. This one does have a gold reflection, gold fleck in it. This one has a silver fleck in it. This pink is slightly warmer. So you would say, why do you have to have two pinks? Um, well, which one are you taking out is my response. Because um, we need both. So this one's a little bit more purpley when we put her right next to it. And Let's get out one of the other new colours as well, which I love. So this is the Joy of Life palette. 
and there's two colors. They look quite similar up here. So this is the colors, but and it looks quite dark in the pan. But watch this, this color. <gasps> Isn't that just? Oh, I just I'm such a color freak. <laughs> it just makes me affects my mood so much. Just find it very uplifting. Sozzy barking like that. It's not making me feel uplifted, shush please. Although he's very cute. Now I'm also working on strange papers here, all different things, so we shall see what happens. I might bring that all the way to the edge. And let's get this one again. And to heighten the difference, excuse me for a sec, Sozzy, Soz, leave the butterflies alone. I'm going to just activate the meringue and just give that a little softer. Or I could just wait for it to dry off again and I might add that in again. So I've got the silver fleck, the gold fleck, and then this is a colour called Humpty. So I um, uh, fosters, I think, well, they call it adopting, different rhinos and elephants and little creatures, well, they're not little, they're big, uh, creatures in at the Sheldrick Trust and the colour names are inspired by that and then that allows me, the proceeds of that allow me to keep fostering and adopting <coughs> elephants and rhinos uh, and wombats and other things, but they're in Australia. Um, but I, I just love reading about the little, them helping the Oops, these huge animals and uh, without assistance they're not, you know, not going to make it very far. So it's just, it's wonderful what they do. Anyway, so that's what's the inspiration behind um, the thing. So what we always say is, be because of uh, I'm always adopting wombats and elephants and rhinos and thing creatures, bats and goodness knows what else. Um, we you are our ambassador as well. Whenever you get something from us, a princess of Wales, W H A L E S, because uh, we support um, Sea Shepherd and what they do, and uh, a koala crusader. And you have elephantitis. Now I need to come up with a different thing than that because that doesn't sound good. Elephant something. And uh, anyway, it's all joy of life. But that's that palette, joy of life. Named after places and uh, creatures. Right, so I've added, it's a bit hard to see all these different pinks on pinks on pinks, but... Um, I'm going to, that's not quite big enough, I'm going to add some stamps, why not? I'm going to turn these into little people. Could, ooh, could it be three gorgons? That would be a bit strange, I think. I don't know how I feel yet. I could use the faces from these, from the busts. So this is my new collection with Art Foamies. Oh, I could use my goddesses. Oh, I just love this stamp so much. Oh, I might use her. I did use her the, yesterday though. Or should I go with Medusa? I love her. I'm going to go this one. Or I could do these girls. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So this one is, let me... Oh, I could do wings as well. Mm. Okay, so this is the face and then there's different wigs that it's all part of the set. There's one more wig. Where is she? Okay, so let's do these girls. I've 
must say I've used these many times too because I just I love them. So and let's make her golden like a goddess. I don't, it might not turn out so well on this colour but I'm going to start there and just see. See how I feel. So I've got my and today's broadcast is meant to be about pebble pigments so I better use them. <laughs> this gold is divine. Okay. So I'm just mixing the two, but I've also got the one that I've just made and I'm just going to pop that onto the um, amusing and this has worked very well on this stamp where I've just added, that's quite a small little area, I might just pop a little few eyes, maybe these are the fates. Activate that a little bit more, get a bit more paint on there. So they're watching, watching, watching. And actually, I know that this might be the might be the better one for this bigger area because I don't should we try? I'll just do a little test. We'll do a little test. because this might just turn out exactly how I want. Just painting that on there. But I might need a bit more oomph. Oh, she is quite nice though. Well, that's with the gold pigment pebble. Let's do the layer cake. And of course I'd use the gold paint and just we can see the three. Now I do have another gold metallic in the Tutankhamun set and the um, no Santa Baby set but I want gold so she's looking up that way she can be straight oh yes it's a different gold though isn't it but the goddesses had golden skin especially like in ancient Egypt they definitely did they probably did in ancient Greece too if they heard about it they would have uh, done it for sure <laughs> and then let's uh, I'll just sponge that off a little and then I've also got this is the gold gesso paint Joyful gesso. So I'm going to just pop a little bit uh, on my mat here and grab a brush. Actually, I'm going to grab this is better for applying paint onto the uh, foamies. This is the Muse Mop. It's just this little scrubby. And this just because it applies it so flatly, so you're using less. And you can also rub it in on there too, but I find that this does uh, work well. Now, of course, I've used acrylic, you really do must remember to wash that off. And uh, I'm going to put her head a little bit forward like that. So we have three different types of gold happening and they both have three different colours. Oh, we're getting gradually darker really. Now I'm going to, because this is going to sit for a little bit because I can't wash it, so I might just, I'm going to give her a little spritz and just semi clean that right away because if you let the acrylic dry on a stamp, it just, um, shortens the loveliness of that very receptive surface so you're better off just looking after your things. It's like same as with a brush if you've got acrylic <coughs> give it a little wash it out get rid of that. Right now um, let's do some wigs. So I've put uh, that sticker on there just to, so I know which side 
Now I've got to be a bit careful over the size of the hair because they're close together. So maybe I could put her there. Hmm. Will she clear? No. Put her. Maybe I should put her on that one. They could all have the same hair. Maybe I can fit her. Oh, that's better. Yes, I can fit hers on that. Mm, it's going to be clever. Oh, no, I'll put her on there then. Will that mash straight into her head? Well, I'll have to do these three here like this. So I've got three different little hairdos. I'll do this one first. And let's do... Um, might go for this palette and let me just make sure everything's going well oh Maria says she's about to get her lay cakes arriving wow which ones did you get Maria now I don't need this here anymore and we can add a wing to this for sure. And I'm just going to paint that layer cake straight on. And the thing with the art foam is, is they just, they're a little bit messy, you know, they're a bit imperfect and I think that makes them perfect. So this is the sticker from the bag itself and because this particular one doesn't have uh, any of the laser cutting, neither does this one, it just helps me remember which side to paint up. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I like it. <laughs> okay, so um, now why is that saying it's way back? Oh, no, I can go like this. Wee, okay, and see we're up to perfect. Um, Rini asks, how long has it taken me to hit pan on the layer cake? Gosh, um, now I was going to have to do her there and bring that in a bit. So, it's on this side, so I'm painting this side, okay. How long has it taken me to hit pan? Mm, quite a long time, but see, I can add new ones. Uh, ages. Depends how much painting you do, because I've got lots of colours and lots of art supply choices. I might have made that a bit juicy, too much water, but well, let's just see what happens. And let's add in a bit of extra colour. Give her some little highlights. There we go. Um, yeah, it just depends how much painting you do, really. Oh, if I bring that in, I can just miss her nose. Got her nose a little tiny bit. Oh, I love that. Uh, neon pink. And then this one I was going to do here. I think we can just... She's got bangs, this one. Just, it takes a while to hit. Uh, should we do? I might do this. I'll go in for the blue. Why not have blue hair? I mean, if these are the fates, they could also be the Furies. The ancient Greeks, that's the theme of this little Art Foamies collection. I loved uh, stories about sisters. Fates, the Furies, the Creative Muses. And it's, the mythology is full of queens of the Trojan War. Let's also put some sparkle into this. Oh, no, I'll put it on later. Put it on later. Okay, so this is going to be sort of an aqua colour. And we will miss her. Um, isn't that fun? Now there is actually if you, an arch as part of the set. I could have used that. That's part of this column set. <laughs> but 
life. We didn't do that. We did something else. So I'll put them aside to wash them as well. And I just want to show you something else. So this is the eye that I've been playing with. And if you didn't see my video before, this is marzipan twists, these um, crayons. So these are very, very, very smudgy crayons, water-soluble crayons that once they set, they're not water-soluble anymore. But I've just put that black crayon on there. I just give it one little mist, not, not a squirt, just a little mist. And should I give them, I might do a little black eye in here. Or do I like the gold? I like how they're all looking over and this one's looking over. I might just, I just want to show you this more than anything. But I might use that. Yeah, I'll just put it here. Huh? Isn't that cool? Now we're also going to do the matching eye at some point. This comes as part of the, it's like a little added bonus in the um, wreath set. The key to it, it's got a Greek key and the wreath. So this has got marzipan twist on it already as well. Actually, I might add a little wreath in here. Oh, it almost looks like little arms. Quite like that, okay. Um, well, I might do bright yellow. I don't know if that will stand out very well, but well, gold would be cool. But I'm going to do yellow. I've got all these other colours on here. I just love yellow and pink together. I've got the yellow, the gold yellow over here as well. And just rubbing that very, very soft. It's like drawing with a lipstick, this thing. It's just incredible. So there's two sets I'll just show you. That's the marzipan twist. Gelato in Rome. So this is all named after delicious ice cream flavors. And this is the Jelly Bean Queen. And this is named after jelly bean flavors. Yum. So now I'm hungry. <laughs> Spread that on. Just one little mist. Let's see what we get. Oh, might be better on the darker color. And... We're giving her her Olympic crown, her victory reef. Oh, it's cool. Okay. It's just a little, you know, dibble dabble, this and that. Um, the little um, muse mop that I put my gold on with, I just put that in the water there in my um, water jar, just so it could soak and. I can get off that gold paint because again, if you leave acrylic on anything, the acrylic dries and it's it's just it's liquid plastic acrylic paint. All acrylic mediums are so it just it sets hard, and that's why it's hard on your brushes and that sort of things. Why it's you, you always try and get it off as best you can. Now I've got the little white mark where her eyelashes are, but I think I'll add in. Um, some colour there. I'm just going to add this rainbow pencil first just to see if that's enough and I might uh, might go metallic I might go with, I could go with a pastel colour I might go with this pink and see if that's enough before I go straight in with black, which is what my first thought to do was. Just so they've got their little eyelashes. And I think they need a little bit of... A little... something. Let's go gold. They're probably goddesses of some description. They've got gold skin. So let's give them some little headdresses as well. And do you know what would look, I think a darker background would look good. But maybe I just leave it like this for now. 
Oh, it almost looks like she's sucking in her hair. But what I could do... Oh, there's going to be noise. Sorry about that. Oh, I have to go. Um, I could just come around their little edges like that and give them... Just define the shape like that. And uh, yes, I'll come. Oh, I'm coming. Yep. Okay. Yes, I have to go. Oh, there you go. Wow. Gosh, time goes fast when you're having fun. I can tell you that right now. Okay, well. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Like, this was really just a little test. And um, I'm just having a quick look uh, at uh, the comments to see if there's anything else there that I can answer. And yes, well, thank you for joining me again as I search for the best answer for the most reliable way for me to do my live streams. It's an ongoing quest. And tomorrow uh, I will probably be back here uh, working on Art Vent Calendar. We'll be working on with a different art supply. And uh, today was Pigment Pebbles, which is these little things, the 3D pigments, which was all, I went through the whole thing in my first video. So I probably didn't go through all of that in this one. Uh, and but we always incorporate everything else really, all the art supplies. But thank you for joining me and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow.